You know what the worst part about the RTX 50 Super Series launching is? Is that, guess what, my friends? I'm willing to bet you roughly $2 million that once the RTX 50 Super Series comes into play, roughly three months later, we're going to get an update in regards to the RTX 6090 launching. And then roughly three months after the initial launch of the RTX 6090, where this like three month period is going to be one, nobody can get it. Two, it's going to be five times MSRP. Three, everybody is going to com be complaining about the 6080, the 6070, the 6060, and the 6050. And then roughly three months after that, those cards will go down to MSRP, not five times MSRP. And then the next super series, the RTX 60 super series, will launch afterwards after that. And then the super series will be lower than the original series and better than the original series. And then roughly, what, why don't I forget how many months I've been like saying throughout the past couple of moments here. So you get my point. It's like NVIDIA is always in the headlines is basically what I was trying to say there. If, 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 if you wanted to really know where I was going with, with that, uh, little, ramble so let's go ahead and talk about the rtx super series of graphics cards in all jokes aside dude i'm actually excited for these because they're actually i don't know why i'm saying actually so many times because actually should be implied to something that is actually available i did in fact say that one intentionally regardless dude i so for those of you that are unaware the rtx 5080 super I really, I do, I don't know why I just, it's super, I just like saying, it. it's just like, it's like gigabytes. I don't know why I say it's just like gigabytes. Like, why would I say gigabytes when I could say gigabytes? Gigabytes is superior to gigabytes. It's just like giggle. I really need to launch that candy brand. It's, dude, listen, launching a candy brand is very difficult. Really, the only change from what we're, what we're aware of right now is that they're going to be getting more VRAM. It's, I mean, that's kind of what everything is doing right now. Like this right here, AMD's RDNA 5 may end up delivering what gamers want most, more VRAM. That's just what gamers want most, is more VRAM. We just really want more VRAM. We don't want our games to, like, finally look different for the first time in 15 years. I know that you guys notice this as well. I know that you're just as aware of that as I am. Have you noticed that? Like, Crisis. How old is this game? What was it, like 20 years old now? It still looks just as good as new modern games. Red Dead Redemption still looks good. Spot still looks good. They all look good. It's pretty much like we get ray tracing. That's like the only new thing. <laughs> oh, nice. Hey, I like my lights right there. Those lights are like really nice. Sick lights right there. Oh, look at the reflection. So awesome. Oh my God, a reflection. Sick. The mods and the shaders inside of games, bro. They, they like, they kind of did what ray tracing does. So we've like been pretty much playing the same type of games for, for what, like twenty years now. Whereas like we go from like the Atari. Like yeah, what am I looking? It's like a little meep meep pong pong meep 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 meep. Then we get the Atari. We got like little guys jumping across Indiana. Jump! Oh my God! I just barely swung on a vine. Next level. You get so excited that you just swung on a vine and jumped over the pit. Super Nintendo. Oh, wait, no. Nintendo. Link to the past. Oh, my God. RPG. Let's go. And then we get the Super Nintendo. Whoa, look at these. These actually, like, are not potato graphics for the first time in gaming history. And then we get the this Nintendo 64. Oh, my God. 3D. Let's go. This is literally going to age the worst graphics ever. Uh, the, the PS1, the Nintendo 64, and that era of gaming, the graphics are going to age like absolute garbage. Like, everything was so different. And, like, so when the PS3, like, that's when, like, PC gaming started getting popular. Um, the first PC game that I jumped into and the whole reason I even bought a gaming PC was when H1Z1 came out. Dude, that that was like one of the first Battle Royale games. Uh, it's like, I, I, uh, when Ninja, when Ninja first uh, started taking off, that was like the game that he, well, Fortnite like took him to a whole different level. But like uh, H1Z1 was one of the games that he started out with. And I was watching him on Twitch because I used to watch a lot of Twitch streamers. For the same reason that I, the for the same reason that I make the content the way that I make the content that I do on YouTube is that that community that that connection. But the problem with Twitch is that you kind of have to rely on the streamer always being there. Whereas with YouTube, I can like create a a video and then just 
oh, I thought that was red. Uh, and then I can just, whatever, reply to the comments and stuff. I know, like, a lot of people hate the way I make my videos of me just, like, whatever, sharing an article and talking about it like a normal freaking human. You know, I I don't understand why people don't enjoy that. I, I really don't get it, man. I don't. It really breaks my heart because it's like we creators all go through these like these like it's like a roller coaster. I'm getting so far off that that's not that's not for this channel. So you got I mean, it's been on screen this whole time. Anyways, it's really just about VRAM being upped and stuff like that. But the, anyways, the main issue that I'm having is like like I want to share this. 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 I want to share this, but if I don't just simply make a video in regards to this and like mainly focus on one single thing, the comments get so like angry, like, oh my God, this guy cannot stay on topic. He's a real friggin' human, not using AI to summarize every single article and then just read it right directly to my face. If I don't like, I, this is this is actually pretty new for me to like not go down all these other rabbit holes. Uh, I mainly focused throughout the whole video. I just kept this one open. It's I was looking into this. 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 I was looking into this and a bunch of other stuff. But I can't share all that kind of crap because in YouTube, I have to obey YouTube's algorithm, or they won't they won't recommend it to people because they don't know who to recommend it to. Tags don't matter anymore. Description doesn't matter anymore. Title absolutely matters. But the 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 weird thing about YouTube right now is that clickbait does not work anymore. The new th and I know I know you guys are aware of this on my channel because it's what I do. It's rage bait. That's how you get views now. The like clickbait doesn't work anymore. You have to rage bait people. Or in other words, you have to play one side. You're either an NVIDIA fanboy, you're an AMD fanboy, you're an Intel fanboy, you're a Sony fanboy, a Microsoft fanboy, a Nintendo fanboy, a this fanboy, a that fanboy, an iOS fanboy, an Android fanboy, a PC fanboy, a console fanboy. You get my point, dude. Like you have to like, you have to title videos that grabs nvidia people for an example but it also grabs amd people alongside the intel people and then also the pc people because the way i make my the titles the, the rage bait type titles of like oh, nvidia just screwed amd is intel coming soon or whatever the frick i title this it grabs the entire pc space nvidia amd intel it grabs the NVIDIA fanboys because they see that NVIDIA is going to like crap on AMD. But then it also grabs the AMD fanboys because they're upset that NVIDIA is about to take a dump on them. And then it also grabs the Intel people like, oh, hey, Intel is like actually showing up in a video for the first time. <laughs> so then I, I genuinely hope that it's it's pretty obvious that I'm just a... I'm somebody that enjoys the PC space. I run a PC business, bro. And it, I'm I'm hoping that it's pretty obvious with my personality and my goofy whatever that I'm just a, a, a like it's literally the description of every channel. I'm your online goofy friend sharing the niche of the channel. Like you're, I'm, your, I'm, that's literally what I am. I'm your online goofy friend just sharing stuff. There's time, dude, I don't know everything about, I didn't go to, uh, computer science, like, dude, I learned the freaking highest grade I found that will go down a different rabbit hole in my micro. I'm, I can smell my cookies. They're burning. So I'm actually going to end this video. Let me know what you guys think about this. And also let me know if you do actually enjoy the sync, the more simplified, let me just ramble my mouth and talk about one single topic rather than this was actually a terrible exit because I went down a couple different rabbit holes of a conversation that a normal real human that doesn't use AI to freaking break down everything they're sharing. It's kind of what happens when you're normal. Oh, Hey, something came up. Let me, let me actually talk to you as a normal human for the first time in your apparent life. Well, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. Peace.